Hi, welcome to Easy Exposure, the tutorials about photography. As you can see, it's nice and sunny today. That's why I decided to film a video outside. In my last lesson, we were talking about light metering. Just think about that, how lucky we are to have light meters in our camera, have handheld light meters, which help us to set a good exposure. But what did photographers do back in the day? when they didn't have the light meters. They still got a good exposure in these pictures. They actually used the rule, which is called Sunny 16 rule. And about this rule, we will be talking in this lesson. So let's get started. is determined by ISO settings of film or sensor. Let's assume that ISO is 100. So for 100 ISO, at midday, around 10 a.m. till 5 p.m., it depends on the time of the year, outdoors with sunlit mid-toned object, we can set our aperture to f16 and our shutter speed to 1 over ISO, which is 1 over 100. But if your camera doesn't have shutter speed of 1 of 100, because this is not a full stop, the full stop of 1 over 125 is actually good enough. Based on this rule, we can also evaluate other conditions. For example, when it's snow or sand and you have really bright scene, you can use F22. When it's sunny, this is a sunny 16 rule F16. When it's light overcast or hazy sun with the soft round edged shadows, this F11. When it's overcast and shadows are barely visible, it will be F8. When it's heavy overcast and there is no shadows, there is f 5.6. In open shade or sunset, it's f4. And when you have a backlit subject, you should add one stop to each of these conditions. And of course, shutter speed will be set to 1 over ISO. So with ISO 100, shutter speed will be 1 one twenty five of the second with ISO 200 shutter speed will be 1 250 of the second we're taking the full stops and uh, with ISO 400 shutter speed will be 1 over 500 seconds and so on this is another chart I would like to share with you this chart called exposure values chart this chart will help you to determine the exposure in the different conditions and exposure combinations in the different conditions. The way it works, you have to choose a condition which fits to your scene in this table. Let's say, for example, we choose number 12, which is daylight scene under heavy cloud and no shadows. We go back to our chart and look for number 12, which is purple color. So our exposure combinations for number 12 would be F22 with shutter speed 1 8th of the second, F16 with shutter speed 1 15th of the second, F11 with shutter speed 1 30th of the second, F8 shutter speed 1 60th, F5.6 at 1 uh, 125th of the second, F4 at 1 250th of the second, and F2.8 at 1 500th of the second. All those exposures will be equivalent exposures, which means they will add the same amount of light into the camera. So let's try to take some pictures by using Sunny 16 rule. So let's check our ISO first. I have my ISO set to 100. So now let's set, and I have my camera in manual mode, of course. Then I will set my aperture to 16. 
and then I set my shutter speed to I can actually set it to 100 or 125 it depends where the your camera goes so here is the picture I took by using sunny 16 rule as you can see exposure is good good details in white and nothing is overexposed or underexposed but what else can we do to improve this picture as you can see background is a little bit distracting there is too much stuff on the background and uh, because we used f16 it gave us more depth of field so the background is more in focus that's why it's distracting so let's try to use wider aperture which will give us more shallow depth of field we will be changing it stop by stop and using the equivalent exposures which will add the same amount of light here is the picture at f11 and accordingly we had to change our shutter speed to 1 250th of the second one more picture at f8 this time with shutter speed 1 500th of the second f5.6 at 1 1000th of the second and f4 at 1 2000th of the second as you can see in this picture background went more out of focus and there is more attention to the flower don't you like it better so this way we still can use sunny 16 rule but we don't have to use f16 we can find the equivalent exposure which will add the same amount of light as with sunny 16 rule but we can use a wider aperture like f4 in this case for example I hope you learned something new today and you will remember sunny 16 rule. Remember, when the sun is out during the midday, when you're taking the pictures, you can use exposure f16 and shutter speed 1 over ISO. And I will also put all the charts which I used in this video on my blog, which is www.easy-exposure.com. So see you next time. Bye-bye.